The Richmond Fredericksburg and Potomac Railroad was established in 1834 and spanned 113 miles from Richmond, Virginia to Washington, D.C. It was a bridge line, meaning they primarily transferred trains from one railroad to another. Within those 100 or so miles, they had their own unique operations. RF&P's 484 steam locomotives, built in 1937, had an early form of positive train control. Known as automatic train control with a pulse code cab signal, it sent an electrical circuit down the track and displayed a signal aspect in the cab. If there was a break in the rail or another train ahead, for example, the crew would receive a stop signal. Around the mid to late 1960s, the RF&P received EMD GP35 and GP40-2 locomotives. During that time, they would start having even-numbered locomotives facing forward going north and odd-numbered units facing south. The GP35s and GP40-2s in particular had two control stands in the cab, along with two horns. This was meant to avoid spending time turning engines around for each trip. These complemented the even and odd-numbered unit operating system, making it safer and easier for the crews to operate. Now, when you think of a switcher locomotive, you probably imagine it going relatively slow in a rail yard or industrial line. This was not the case for the RF&P, as their SW-1200s and a single SW-1500 were geared for 60 to 70 mile per hour operation on the main line. This was achieved using EMD's flexi-coil road trucks. Switcher units were a common sight on the railroad's freight trains, one even helping out on the original auto train in its final days. However, like many early era railroads, their time comes to an end. The 155-year-old RF&P was bought by CSX in October 1991, and they now operate the line as their RF&P subdivision. Pieces of the railroad's history are thankfully displayed about the United States, as a reminder of what was a quirky bridge line railroad.